that South Africans are descendants of warriors. The indigenous nations who resisted occupation and colonization were warriors. Our forefathers who were brought here as prisoners of war and enslaved were warriors. The colonizers who stayed, they were warriors. Our people who fought for the liberation of our country were warriors. And together, they made this country a rainbow nation. It was hoped that the warriors that became our governing authority for the last 30 years would advance our aspirations for economic freedom. Instead, they robbed us blind, allowed corruption in our police and security forces, allowed the destruction and deterioration of health services, education and public services. State-owned enterprises was reduced to cinders. The once mighty ESCOM is nothing like a pin-like battery trying to light the country, whilst its management are bleeding the nation for money. More than a half of our nation is unemployed and hungry, lives below the poverty line. And we, my respected brothers, are sitting with our arms folded as if we are waiting for the same irresponsible, incompetent and corrupt officials to make a wise move, a definite sign of capitulation and or insanity. You know what they say about insanity? You know, if we expect a different outcome doing the same thing over and over. Let's not forget, my respected brothers, we were once warriors. <coughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi is reported to have said, Whoever amongst you sees evil, let him change it with his hand if he cannot do so. Then with his tongue, if he cannot do so, then with his heart, which is the weakest level of faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us of those with weak faith, my respect.